welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious cheesy fish finger sandwich. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious cheesy fish finger sandwiches. So this recipe is really easy to do and it's one that doesn't take too much time to prepare or cook. You can also make this into a lunchtime dish or you could make it into an evening meal as well. Um, I'm actually going to make this into an evening meal today and I'm going to add chips to it. So I have laid out all of my ingredients and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into my food processor. So here I have one onion that I've peeled, sliced and diced. In the original recipe I said spring onions. Unfortunately I don't have any spring onions today so I'm actually using an onion. So I'm just going to put that into the food processor. Then I have a peeled and grated one carrot as well. I like to make things slightly healthier by adding vegetables to them. Because otherwise my husband and son probably wouldn't eat that many vegetables on their own. So I always try to add a few extra in with anything I can. Um, and then I have some butter here. So I think I've got probably about 375 grams of butter. You can use cod or you could use salmon as well. I'm making this for three people today. So my husband, myself and my son. So that's why I'm using 375 grams. But in the original recipe, I think I said 500. So if you want to make it for four, then obviously you, you would use 500 grams, yep, that's right. And now I'm just gonna add the fish to the food processor as well. And I'm gonna take this board away and I'm also gonna go and wash my hands because I've just touched raw fish. Just finished washing my hands and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some dry ingredients to this. So I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. Again, I like to get vegetables and herbs in any way I can to be honest. And then I, in this bowl here, I have about four tablespoons of ground flax seeds. If you can't get flax seed, then you can always use breadcrumbs. You could use wholemeal or you could use white. The decision is yours. Um, I'm actually using flax seed because I think it's a bit better for our bodies. So I'm just going to add the ground flax seed to this as well. And this is to try and solid the fish finger up as well to make it a bit more solid and a bit easier to put, into, put onto a plate, into the fridge and then into the the oven and now I'm also going to add salt and pepper to taste as well so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to this and then a bit of pepper as well we like spice in this house but my son doesn't like things too spicy so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of pepper to that and now what I'm going to do if I've switched this on which I don't think I have is I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together I have blended all of these ingredients together until they are smooth-ish and I've also dampened my hands as well and now what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take the blade out and I'm going to try and divide the mixture into four and then from that, oh into three sorry, yep yeah, into three and then from that three I'm going to try and make some fish fingers, I'm going to make some fish fingers should I say. So I'm going to just roll them up like so and then I'm going to flatten them a little bit and roll them into cylinder shapes. You can have these any way you wanted to. If you wanted fish balls, you could roll these into fish balls. Um, I just find this the easiest way to do it really. Um, so on this plate here, this may look a bit strange. I have some cheddar cheese and I have some goat's cheese as well. The boys are going to have cheddar cheese and I'm going to have the goat's cheese because that's much better for me. So I'm going to roll the fish fingers in the cheese like so and then I'm just going to simply put this onto the plate and then I'm going to do the same thing with another piece of the mixture. I'll do it with the goat cheese this time I think until I have used up all of the mixture. So I'm just going to roll the fish finger in the cheese 
and then put it in the plates on the plates sorry I have finished making the fish fingers and as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be putting these into the fridge now for about five hours you don't have to put them in for that long you could just put them in for a couple of hours I'm actually making these earlier when it's a bit cooler during the day it's a warm day in the UK at the moment and it's a bit cooler at the moment so I thought I'd make them now while it's cool and then put them in the fridge you can make these the night before as well and store them in the fridge or you could make this if the fish isn't frozen you could make it from fresh and then just put these in the freezer and then you can just take them out when you want to eat them um, cheese does actually freeze as well it freezes quite well so you can put them into the freezer for up to six weeks and then take them out when you need them so yes as I said I'm going to put these into the fridge for about five hours now it's almost dinner time and I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees the fish fingers have been in the fridge for about six hours I think now and I have transferred them to this baking tray so this is a pampered chef baking tray so I don't need to use any oil on this because it's non-stick but if you need to oil a baking tray or put some grease proof paper onto a baking tray then please do so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the oven for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or until the fish goes a lovely golden brown color the fish fingers have turned a lovely golden brown colour so I'm going to take these out of the oven and put them into the bread and that will be our fish finger sandwiches done for our dinner and we also have some chips to go with them as well so I'm really looking forward to my dinner now. That's how you make my delicious cheesy fish finger sandwich and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier we're going to be having these for our dinner this evening and they smell so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me. Thank you so so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye